Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're actually going to make the catch can. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, so we've got the metal there, so we're going to be marking that out, cutting that out. Now I'm going to be cutting it with an angle grinder, so it's probably not going to be the best. Um, so we've got the six sides that I need to do. Got the template up here. And I'm going to be using this metal here for the brackets. So it'll stop there. So, and we've got all the fittings as well to weld in, so we need to drill out big enough hopefully I've got a little Christmas tree is big enough <coughs> yes, I might have to go all the way maybe not maybe we'll worry about that when the time comes uh, unfortunately I've got to step out for a little while. We're going to Ikea to pick up a couple of things. So I will be back later, hopefully not too late. and start marking that and cutting it. Um, and then tonight I'll get out here and with the welder and tack it first. Work out the baffles and everything. And then we'll fully weld it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using any... Um, filler rod or anything like that if you remember most likely not when i was doing the exhaust and i cut out this little section actually just used the torch and just melted it and it sealed up quite good so maybe if i leave a little bit of material on the edges i'll be able to just use that to weld it so that's pretty much all you're doing is just adding more material to it so, uh, we'll see how we go, and, um, see ya in about two seconds. Well, that didn't go as planned. It's now, uh, Sunday at 10.30. Got the sheet up here. Got the rule. Sharpie. Hopefully that one works. And our template. So I'll do our measurements. Um, I don't exactly remember what I was doing. So I'll measure that, put it onto here, and we'll cut this out. Alright, so we are 18 by 20. So what I might do is I'll do 20 and go that way, and then hopefully I should have enough on there. So that should do the four sides, and then we'll do an 18, a couple of 18s. And then we'll do some baffles. Alright guys, so there's my side, bottom, side, and top. It'd be awesome if I could just cut that out and bend that. I could even do one here. And fold it in to be one of the sides. Um, I don't know if I can actually fold it. It's a bit thick for... What I got here to be able to bend, so I might have to cut them all out individually. I'll just tack them together, make sure I put all the magnets and they're all square, and keep measuring it to make sure it's square. Yeah. So I measured from the top line to the bottom line, so that's so they all should be the same. Okay. So my cutting disc should also. <laughs> if I'm good enough, stay on the line, so then they should all be the correct sizes. That should be the same as that, that should be the same as that. 
Wish me luck. All right, not a bad cut. Um, yeah, it's good. Right on the line. Now I'll run this this one here. Then I have to rotate it. I think maybe not. Might be able to do it this way. Yeah, yeah, I'm right-handed. I should be able to do it that way. All right, there's my first piece. Uh, not the best. Did stuff up a little bit here, but it's not too bad. Second piece is done. Um, probably the hardest thing at the moment is the angle grinder to choose through the battery. Um, my glasses keep fogging up. I can't get the right angle on the light when I'm going this way. So these cuts are quite hard. These ones are easy so what i might do is actually turn this around now so these cuts should be easy now all right guys got those four cut out still got two to do um the miss is going out so let's see how we go we've got two more to cut out I'll probably be able to get one out of here and i'll just take one out off the edge should be easy and then we'll sort out the baffles. Hey! Well, I'm back. It's raining and it's 4.30. So, um... Let's keep going. Got two more to cut out. So, I'll mark it on this part here. And then we'll do the other one. And, um... See how I go... I've got to clean up the edges so they can sit properly. So I'll do uh, five sides. So I'll have the bottom not in, and I'll do the baffles. Let's see how that goes. I'll, um, I've got to drill the holes actually for the weld ons. That'll help so I can see where the baffles need to go. Alrighty guys, we've got all of the sides cut out. The edges do need to be cleaned up a bit. We've got the uh, flat disc on there. Some of them aren't the best. Um, but yeah, we're going to get these together. So we have like a little box going on. Or, should I drill the holes where I need to um, Put the fittings first. So you might I'm gonna, might make the box first. It's gonna probably be a little bit easier to hold while um drilling. Because if the drill gets stuck in that then that's spinning around. Nice little blade. Um, yeah. You guys have cleaned up all the edges as you can probably see they're all shiny on all the borders so now we can uh, get the magnets out and construct it and tack it I haven't used the welder for a while so hopefully we go all right Alrighty, righty got my magnets there got that set up to 90 degrees and uh it's ready to tack but <laughs> i need to go back inside for a sec so i'll be out shortly Alrighty guys, I am getting ready to tack it together. Uh, one of these side ones, I actually measured two mil wrong. So it is a bit high, which is better than two mil short. So yeah, I was just playing around with putting all four on there. And it's just that one that's a little bit bigger, as you can see. Uh, got the welder on, I'm about to do a few tacks on the inside here. Hopefully it works out. Alright, it's got a couple, well, a few little tacks there. Move on to the other side and work out these ones. Um, might lay, or I might put a couple here and here towards the end. Not too close. Probably a couple of centimeters in. 
Alrighty guys, there is the top of it. Um, so it's all tucked. Looks like five along the long edge, three along here. And we do have a gap, so I'm gonna have to use some filler. Should have uh, measured a bit longer. And this fits on okay onto the top as well. Um, but what we need to do is mark where the fitting is going to go and drill them out and um, yeah so we know where we can put the baffles alright guys that's probably where I'm going to put it one in the middle one off to the front side of the car um, I'm not going to put them too close just so I can get a, a tool onto that to tighten it up so we'll go halfway and go just in a little bit. Alright guys, just laid some tacks down on this. So yeah, you can see the gaps now, can't you? So we're going to fill them in. But um I'll do all that before I um I put the top on so we can see and even test it I guess. Um that it doesn't leak. But yeah, just hit this top edge here, some filler here and here and here now I should be able to drill them out now I've marked them there that's the 10 an the dash 10 an and that's the orb the orb is actually bigger than that that's the outside so the dash 10 a is 20 um I'll <laughs> put them inside each other but, um, and the orb is 22 millimeters well, uh, the hole wasn't where I wanted it to be. <laughs> it went off centre. Uh, but, it's okay. Only you guys know that are watching this episode. Um, so, that's, that's good. It's there. Now I do have the magnet still there. Just to hold it as well. It's also getting all the shavings. Alright, let's draw this one out. Hey guys, look at the holes, that one did the same thing, but it's okay, because once they're on there, they're actually quite even, once it's welded on, I'm pretty sure that's the way that you're supposed to weld it, not this way, I'm not sure I haven't welded an orb, but I was looking at this one here, and it's got quite a big section here, so... I'm guessing that way. Alright, dinner's ready, so I'm going to go inside for that. Um, yeah, still at this point. I'll just clean them up. I'll clean it up a bit better. I'll clean this one up a bit better right now before I go in. And um, I'll tuck them. We can flip it over and see how we can do the baffle. Alrighty guys, finally back. Uh, I probably won't actually tuck these on just yet. I'll actually wait until it's all welded up. So we don't get any splatter onto the threads. And we can't use them. Kind of uh, defeats the whole purpose of making it. So um, I'll leave them off. And we'll have a look at how we're going to do a buckle. Right, just triple checking make sure those fittings will actually fit and actually with the orb fitting that I need to weld on it's actually put it up a lot higher than I thought um, I was hoping to um, have them like this it'll look, look a lot better but the bonnet will probably most likely hit that so um, Gonna have to run with the original halfway and set back a bit. So um, yeah, we will do that. I'll mark it out and drill it out. Hopefully, yeah, even. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Sorry to do this to you, but I'm actually going to finish this episode here. It's actually getting quite late. I have to duck inside and put the kids to bed. So. 
Still need to cut the baffles out, so I can't do that tonight. I'll do it when I get home from work tomorrow. So, next episode, this should be finished. If you like this episode, guys, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you next episode. Bye.